Well, hello there. Welcome back. I just bought my favorite engine. You might think my favorite engine is the S1 Niagara's that New York Central made. But no, even though my channel's named after them, it's not my favorite. My favorite's actually the PRR S2, which I just so happened to have bought today. I won the bid at $405 at 2.36 a.m. So, you know, that was good. I think, I, I know the company's name, I'm just not sure if it's actually pronounced Olympian. Because that's what it looks like when you read it. Well, I'm, I'm quite new to this brass world. This is my first brass engine. This is actually the first brass engine that my dad doesn't have one, brothers don't have one. So I'm the first one in my family to have a brass one. And out of my friends. We have a brass box car, but no engines. So I don't really know much about brass engines, but I'm pretty sure after my research that $405 for a painted Olympian brass S2 with a TCS uh, DCC decoder is a relatively good price. It is the uh, most amount of money I've spent on an engine so far. And I'll be spending much more getting it a uh, sound decoder, speaker. I'm thinking about putting smoke in it. Uh, I'll wait till I have it before I uh, try and think about doing anything like that. But yes, this is my uh, favorite engine. Now I have a question for you people. Should I change my YouTube channel name. I'm pretty sure you can. At least I'm gonna find out. Should I, ch because I would say the Niagara is probably tied or second place for my uh, second favorite engine. It'd probably be tied with like the big boy or something. But the S2 uh, is on top, very much so, with a uh, nice lead. Should I, I'm wondering if I should change my name to so right now it's Niagara 6000 HO scale trains. It would be S2 6200 HO scale trains. I'll probably be asking this for the next like eight videos, you know, and probably about half of those are gonna be about the S2. <laughs> so here it is. These are the pictures of it. The guy said that he replaced like the gear tower that powers the wheels from the motor. But it comes with the original one. I'm not, I probably should have asked why he did that. But I did ask him about the motor because he said it was pretty weak. Um, it runs fine. He had no problem because he has small layout and he only pulls like five cars, according, that's at least what he said. So I asked him, you think this could pull this up like a 2% hill, you know, like 10, 15? And he said no. So I'll probably have to end up replacing that. But I mean, I'm okay. I don't want to have to try and fix a brass engine from my understanding it can be very difficult and i'm not sure i'm at the level of being able to fix one so i'm happy it works it looks good we'll see what it when it gets here how well it is i mean worst case scenario i sell it 